scale and angle of hatch. Let's go ahead and learn how to scale and angle our hatches now that we know how to create them. But before we do that, since we're inside of an empty document, let's go ahead and create some simple designs. I'll just draw some rectangles, like so. Maybe add a circle over here. Another overlapping circle. That kind of cuts in to these rectangles so we have some smaller areas to hatch. And now let's go ahead and activate the hatch command to see what we can do. I'll select hatch. I'll go ahead and pick a brick looking pattern. I'll hatch this area here. I'll go ahead and close. And I'll create another hatch. I'll select the hatch. Select a different pattern. And I'll create this hatch here. NC37. It looks kind of like a fence. But as you can see, when I put it here, it didn't quite look the same as it did in this pattern here. Also, the bricks that I put here look way larger than what I wanted them to. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect those. Now, let's look at how we can change the angle and the scale of these two hatches. First, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And under the properties, this is where you can find the scaling. Let's go ahead and put a larger value by a factor of 10 and hit tab. As you can see, our pattern changed. It got scaled. Let's make it a lot smaller. Let's put it at 0.5 and enter. And as you can see, it greatly changes the way the hatch looks. Since I want a kind of a fence look, I'm going to go ahead and put something like 15 and see how that looks. That's a lot larger than, than a fence to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back to maybe 10 like we had before. And press tab. And there you go. It's looking a lot better. I'll go ahead and hit escape. Let's come down here to this brick hatch. I'll select that. Now also you notice this grip here. If I hover over it, I have all these options here. I can try stretching it first, moving it around like that, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect and go ahead and hit undo. And that puts it back in the right place. I'll select the hatch again, hover over the grip, and now we'll try and change the origin point. I'll select this. And as you can see, as I move around, it says to specify the origin point. Well, where do I want the point to be? I'm going to go ahead and shift right click. And I'm going to select endpoint. I'm going to put the endpoint right here. And there we go. Now it looks more like a natural brick because bricks would start at the bottom probably. Okay, but still, the bricks don't look that large. So I'm going to again select the hatch and come up here to the angle and try and rotate it a bit. And as you can see, this changes the angle of the hatch. But again, bricks don't line up that way, typically at least. But if you need to change the angle of it, you can go ahead and do so. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to zero. And this time, I'm going to adjust the scaling because that's really what we want to do, make it a lot smaller. So let's try a large number and see what happens. Let's put 10. Press tab. And there you go. It got much larger. So if you want to scale something smaller, don't put a larger number. Let's try 0.5 and see what happens. And there you go. Now we're starting to see some bricks. 0.5 looks like a pretty good number, but we can keep going and make it look a little bit better. Let's go 0.25 and see what that looks like. Tab. There we go. Now it looks even better. I'll hit escape to deselect, but let's come up here and fix this fence. Maybe I want this angled a little bit differently. I'll go ahead and select it. And here in the properties, I can adjust the angle as well. I want to angle the other way instead. So I'll put it at about 180. You can also type the value in if you need to and hit tab to accept it. Okay, those look good. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'll pan over to the side a bit. I'll go ahead and start the hatch command again. And now I'm going to pick a new hatch. Let's go ahead and see what's available here. A lot of these hatches add some very interesting variety to your designs. I'm just going to pick this one, a zigzag. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add that there. And that does not look like what it did in the hatch pattern. So let's go ahead and adjust the scale. Let's try and make this a lot larger. 10. Hit tab. And that looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and change the angle as well since we're here. We can just pull the slider back and forth 
and we can adjust it as a, however we needed. I want to make them look kind of horizontal. So I will line up about maybe there. That looks good for me. Hit tab. I'll go ahead and hit close. Double click the middle mouse wheel. And now I have the design back into view. Adding hatches adds a lot of variety to your designs. And by moving the origin, by changing the scale and the angle, can help you more effectively explain what's happening in your design and make them a lot more interesting while you're at it.